Good morning, dear children. How are you all? Today, we will study our soil. This is the part 2 of this chapter. So, in the previous video, we have studied about the different types of soils and in detail, we have studied about alluvial soil, black soil and red soil. Today, we will cover the rest of the three soils and then soil erosion and soil conversion. So, let's start. Laterite soil. Laterite soil is found in parts of Maharashtra, Karnataka, Kerala, Telangana, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Assam and Meghalaya. It is formed when minerals are washed away from the soil due to a heavy rainfall. So, when a lot of rainfall is there and if the minerals, important minerals are washed away from this, the, from the soil, then laterite soil is formed. If the soil is properly manured, that means if we provide proper manure and fertilizers, we can grow certain crops like tea, coffee, rubber, coconut and fruits are, uh, can also be grown in this crop. Next comes the mountain soil. Mountain soil is found on the hill slopes in Jammu and Kashmir. Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, West Bengal and Arunachal Pradesh. This soil is rich in humus. Humus is actually the dead plants and leaves which remain in the soil for a very long time and thus they form fertilizers. So when a plant dies or the dead leaves uh, are fallen on the ground, when they remain in the soil for a very long time, they decompose and that decomposed material is very fused as fertilizer. The gro crops which can be grown on mountain soil is wheat, maize, fruits, coffee and tea. The last kind of soil is desert soil. Desert soil is found in Rajasthan and Gujarat. This soil is sandy and infertile. Sandy you can understand the sand, the soil which is available in the desert. So it is a kind of a sandy in a te sandy texture. So uh, as a sand is there, so in desert soil, des, uh, in the desert soil is similar to sand and it is also very, very infertile. If there is availability of water, some crops can be grown here such as wheat, millets, barley, pulses and cotton. But only when water is available there. Now we will see what is soil erosion and then we will see soil conservation. First of all, let us see what, what soil erosion is. Soil erosion. When the top soil is removed by rainwater and strong wind, it is called soil erosion. So, when there is a lot of rain, heavy rain and strong winds blow so with that strong flow of water or wind the topmost layer of soil which is the most fertile gets washed away and this leads to soil erosion because of soil erosion the soil becomes infertile so we should prevent soil erosion and there are some measures to prevent some soil erosion that are Some steps to prevent soil erosion are Do not cut trees Plant more trees Do not keep the fields barren Barren means that we should not leave the uh, fields without any crop We should cultivate some or the other crop in the fields Leaving the fields empty and barren may lead to infertility or soil erosion Stop overgrazing of land. 
Overgrazing of land is when the uh, animals used to eat the plants, grasses, shrubs on a land again and again. So, if the same piece of land is used for grazing of animals, it will lead to soil erosion because no trees will be remain here and trees act as a binding force to prevent soil erosion. Use manure and natural, natural fertilizers instead of artificial fertilizers. So, instead of artificial fertilizers here means the chemical fertilizers. So, we should use manure which is natural and natural fertilizers like humus for the soil to make it fertile, not the chemical fertilizers. Hope you, should, you have understood the video. Thank you very much. Have a good day.